So this is a uh, quick video just to um, clear up how to make one of those solids of revolution using GeoGebra. Um, so this is GeoGebra. This is just a web interface and you can get to it going to geogebra.org or just Google GeoGebra. Um, and once you're creating an account and stuff, you can go ahead and, and log in and start uh, graphing. Now, I'm going to use the classic GeoGebra because I'm old and I don't know how to use the new one yet. Um, so I'll start by just plotting uh, two point or uh, plotting our two functions. And I'll use the function method to do this, where I can just enter the function. So I'm going to plot x and uh, just use the over arrow from 0 to 1. All right. And I'm going to draw another function. And I'm going to make this one x squared with a carrot and uh, this will also go from 0 to 1 and there we go okay so we have our two we've got our little region defined the next thing that we need is a slider so I'm gonna choose this slider and just pop it on the screen wherever but it's gonna be an angle and I wanna name it alpha which is down here this little alpha. So actually, I just want to name it alpha. All right, and we're pretty much ready to go. Now from here, it's just kind of uh, point and click stuff. So um, we want to add uh, some, we want to look at it in 3D. And if we grab the 3D graphics, we can see this region here. Okay, there it is. In 3D. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose to actually rotate this about a line. So we have, um, for example, if I want to rotate it about the x axis, there is a choice um, to rotate around line. And what we're going to do is we'll click the line we want to rotate, what we want to rotate it about this axis. And then I'm going to say through which angle and the angle is that slider. Click OK. And you'll see that now when I slide this in 3D over there, that guy is spinning around. So we're just going to do the same thing with the other line so that it's spinning together. So come back to the 3D, rotate around a line, Y equals X around the X axis through the angle alpha. Okay, and then now that guy is spinning together. All right. And if we want, we can go ahead and animate that rotation by just pressing play and we can speed it up. And you can kind of take a look at how that guy rotates through that from every different angle, you know? Um, but the cross sections that we're looking at, right? We want to try and try and get this in the right orientation here. Go easier if I pause that. All right, we were rotating it about the X axis. So we kind of wanted to peek at it, something like this, look down it as it rotates, right? Um, so as I, do this, I think that I should, I, there's something here that I can also, uh, I should be able to trace those guys. Um, I should have figured this out before. Yeah, so we can click the show, as that thing is being rotated, it has a property to show the trace. So I'm going to do that on both of these curves that are being rotated. Again, we have both of them. So show the trace. And now, um, once I get out of that, I think, and I'll just make this whole kind of window and I can rotate it. And there we go. Now we see that solid being formed.
And if we move it around, we see that there's that cone. And you can kind of see that interior shape. And you can play around with, uh, with this a little bit more. I mean, we can, um, we can have it trace at smaller intervals. Uh, you see that it's rotating like every five degrees. We can probably change that. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, increment by one degree. You know, maybe we could do, I mean, you could do 0.1 degree or something. Change the style of it, and so on. And you see it's drawing it a little bit more dense now. But there we go. That's a 3D visualization of our solids of revolution. And you can, you could uh, generate this yourself uh, for any, for any functions. Just have to define the functions, grab a slider, move over to 3D and rotate the, the region. And then you can animate it and kind of get a sense for what that shape looks like and what defines the inner and outer radius.